day everyone, my name is Pia Gwani Kolyopoulos. I am a student nurse from Davao Doctors College and today I am going to perform a demonstration for a complete bed bath to a patient. So bathing removes accumulated oil, perspiration, dead skin cells, and some bacteria from our patient's bodies. It stimulates the circulation of their body, produces a sense of well-being, and bathing also offers an excellent opportunity for the nurse to assess clients and opens the door for establishing trust. Okay, so prior to conduct of the procedure, we have to wash our hands to prevent cross-contamination. This is done because hygiene is a personal matter. I already performed hand washing to protect my patient and myself from infection and cross-contamination. I also close the door, fix the curtain, and adjust the room temperature, and also provide adequate lightning to ensure my client's comfort and secure my patient's privacy. I have also prepared already the necessary equipment needed beforehand to conserve time and energy. These pieces of equipment are the following. Basin with warm water for at least 43 to 46 degrees Celsius. Soap, optional if the clients want to use soap. Linens such as bath blanket, wash cloth, and two towels that I will be used later. Clean gloves if appropriate because some patients have um, presence of body fluids or open lesions, especially injured patients. Personal hygiene such as deodorant and lotions. Shaving equipment, optional if the clients want to. Table or bathing equipment, so I just use a chair because it is just a demonstration. A laundry bag and a hair comb. Prior to performing the procedure, introduce yourself first and verify the client's identity using the agency protocol. Explain to the client what you are going to do, why it is necessary, and how he or she can participate. Okay, so this is done because it ensures that I am doing the right procedure for the right patient. Okay, I will do now the first step. Hello ma, my name is Pia Gwani Cole-Rocolas. I am the attending student nurse for today. May I know your name po? Alien. Your age po? 19. Your birthday? May 15. Okay, thank you so much ma'am. So today, I'm going to clean you or do a complete bed bath for you. This is for you to feel relaxed, to feel refreshed and comfortable. And also, I am going to touch um, some parts of your body and is it okay for you po? Yeah. Okay, so now after that we have to wear a working glove and offer the client a bedpan or urinal or ask whether the client wishes to use the toilets or commode. Okay, so this is done because warm water and activity can stimulate the need to void. The client will be more comfortable after voiding and voiding before cleaning the perineum is advisable. Okay, I'll just wear a glove for ma'am, no? So, this time ma'am, before we proceed, do you want to pee po? No. Okay, thank you so much ma'am. Now, position the bed at a comfortable working height. If using a hospital bed, lower the side rail or on the side rail close to you. Keep the other side rail up, assist the client to move near you. This avoids undo or reaching and straining and promotes good body mechanics. It also ensures client's safety. Okay, ma'am, can you move here, po? So, since that I am just using a normal bed, because it is just a demonstration, I'll just let my patient come near me. Now, place bath blanket over top sheet. Remove the top sheet from under the bath blanket by starting at client's feet. Ask the client to grasp and hold the top of the bath blanket while pulling linen to the foot of the bed. Okay, so ma'am, I am going to put bath blanket for you, okay? And you will just hold this one foot.
So I am going to remove the top sheet po, ma'am, no? Because we will um, proceed now to a new pad. But that top pad. You can. Place the top sheet in the laundry bag. So, Again, if the linen is to be reused, place it over the bedside chair. And if it is to be changed, place it in the linen hamper, not on the floor. So, I already placed it on the linen hamper. So, if the patient has an intravenous line injury or reduced mobility, we have to begin getting the gown of the unaffected side. So, remove the client's gown while keeping the client covered with a bath blanket. So, ma'am, I will get your bath. Okay, and put the gown on the laundry mat. Okay, after removing the patient's gown, I already filled the basin with 2 to 3 fold of warm water at 43 to 46 degrees Celsius. Now, let the patient check the water temperature if it is tolerable for her, okay? So, ma'am, can you touch the water for if it is too cold or too hot for you? It's enough. Thank you so much, ma'am. So... Okay, the next thing I am going to do is to remove the pillow under my patient's head. Okay, ma'am, can I get the pillow, ma'am? You can get it. So, I'll just put it. So, in the hospital, they adjust the hospital bed for the patient to be in a exact degree angle when doing a bed bath. But now, I will just use a pillow so that my patient will... Lift. Okay, ma'am, so I will put a pillow for now. Can you lift your head off? And now I will put the first towel under my client's head. Can you lift your So, now make the second towel to be put at the patient's chest. Okay, so now I am going to make a bath mat using the washcloth in a rectangular method. A bath retains water and heat better than a cloth closely, cloth loosely held and prevents ends of washcloth from dragging across the skin okay okay so i will soak my washcloths and then after that i'm going to make a rectangular mat So, begin the bath at the cleanest area and work downward toward the feet. Wash the client's eyes with water only and dry them well. Use a separate corner of the washcloth for each eye. This is done because using separate corners prevents transmitting microorganisms from one eye to the other. And also, this prevents secretions from entering the nasolacrimal duct. So, now I am going to wash my client. Okay. 
Now I am going to wash my client's face, ears, and neck. So we have to ask the client if he or she wants a soap used on the face. So this is done because soap has a drying effect and the face which is exposed to the air more than other body parts tends to be drier. And now I'm going to wash, rinse, and dry my client's face, ears, and neck. So, ma'am, I'll just soak this washcloth first and make a bath mix. So we have to pay attention for the neck because um, our neck has a skin folds and it is important because some other bacteria, uh, some bacteria um, stays there if we do not properly cleanse the neck. Now I'm going to pat face. Also, clean the ear. Okay. Next, I'm going to do is to wash my patient's arms and hands. So I'm going to place a towel lengthwise under the arm away from, away from me. So yeah, it protects the bed from becoming wet. That is why we have to put a towel in our patient's arm. Can you move your okay. okay. Now, wash, rinse, and dry the arm by elevating the client's arm and supporting the client's wrist and elbow. Use long, firm strokes from wrist to shoulder, including the axillary area. Now, I'm going to sew the wash cloth and perform a bath mix. Okay ma'am, so I am going to clean now your arms and hands. Okay. From distal to proximal because firm um, also, do a firm strokes from distal to proximal areas because it promotes circulation by increasing venous blood return. Okay, ma'am. So, I am going to clean now your arms and hand. So, other part of the washcloth. And the axillary area. So, place towel on the other side of the patient's hand. Okay, ma'am, can you... And pat dry the arm before transferring the other towel to another arm.
again from distal to proximal. And wash the axillary area. Okay? So, put the towel on the wash bin. Now, place a towel on the bed and put a wash bin on it. Place the client sand in the basin. Many clients enjoy immersing their hands in the basin and washing themselves. Soaking loosens dirt under the nails and also assist the client as needed to wash, rinse, and dry the hands, paying particular attention to the spaces between the fingers. So, excuse me, ma'am, I'll just take this. Can you move a little bit? So we have to renew the water. Okay, so I already renew the water. So ma'am, can you put your hands go? Oh wait, just wait. And Clean the arms of the patient. We have to remember that to pay particular attention to the spaces between the finger of the patient. But dry the patient's hand and perform on the other side. Dry the patient's hand. Okay, ma'am. Thank you so much. Next, that I am going to do is to clean the chest and the abdomen of my patient. Omit the chest and abdomen for a partial bath. However, the areas under a woman's breast and re may require bathing if this area is irritated or if the client has a significant perspiration under the breast. So place the bath towel lengthwise over the chest. So I already placed it. Fold the bath blanket down to the client's pubic area. So ma'am, I'm going to fold the bath blanket down. You can hold this one for Now, this is done because it keeps the client warm while preventing unnecessary exposure of the chest. So, I'm going to wash the cloth and then make a bath. Clean your chest, but mom, is it okay?
Now, lift the towel or the bath towel off of the chest and bath the chest and abdomen with your mitten hand using long firm strokes. So, I already did that. Give special attention to the skin under the breast and any other skin folds, particularly if the patient is overweight, rinse and dry well. So, I already prefer that also. Now, we have to remember for our female patient, cleanse and dry the skin beneath of the breast, chest and checks the changes of the water as necessary, drapes the patient's chest and abdomen using a towel and a bath blanket. And now, let's wash the legs and the feet of our client. Okay, so we have to, to expose the patient's leg farthest from us by folding the bath blanket toward the other leg and being careful to keep the perineum covered and places the towel lengthwise under the leg. Okay, ma'am, so I am going to clean now your leg. Now we have to lift leg and place the bath towel lengthwise under the leg. Ma'am, I'm going to perform now. So lift the leg. Okay. And wash, rinse, and dry the leg using the wash cloth. But knit the wash cloth. And do a long, smooth firm strokes from ankle to the thigh. Okay, this is done because washing from the distal to proximal areas promotes circulation by stimulating venous blood flow. Now, reverse the coverings. Okay, so pat dry first the leg that you washed. And cover the leg. The patient and reverse the coverings and repeat for the other leg. So, ma'am, I'm going to perform it to the other leg, okay? I will lift your hand, I will lift your leg. So, for us to be easier to clean the leg, we can just bring the basin. So, from ankle to the thigh. Pat dry the leg of the patient. Okay, so I'm going to get this one now. Okay. And next, I'm going to do is to clean the foot of my patient. And then, I'm going to wash the cloth and then. Make a bath meat and pay particular attention to the spaces between the toes. If preferred, wash one foot after the leg before washing the other leg. So, 
Okay, ma'am, I'm going to wash your face. So I'm going to perform on the other side also. But first, let us dry the foot of our patient. So I'm already done washing my patient's leg and also I discarded the washcloth and maintained the patient's privacy. I also refilled the basin with clean water and now let's change a clean pair of gloves and apply perineal care as necessary. So I'm going to discard this and discard this gloves and put another glove for perineal care of the patient. Now I'm done gloving, I have to assist the client into a prone position or side lying position facing away from me. Place the bath towel lengthwise alongside the back buttocks, the back and the buttocks rather, while keeping the client covered with a bath blanket as much as possible. So I will be getting this one now, okay? Ma'am, I'm going to clean now your back. Can you... Um, side there for now. Just be careful for I'm going to apply a lengthwise bath towel in the back of my patient. And now I'm going to get or wash the wash cloth and make a bath mitt. So, assisting client and doing this position is done because this provides warmth and prevents undue exposure. Now, wash and dry the client's back and moving from the shoulders to the buttocks and upper thighs, paying attention to the gluteal folds. Okay, so ma'am, I'm going to wash now, okay? Okay, so if the patient's skin is intact, remove a discard glove if used. Now, perform a back massage now or after completion of bath, especially if the patient prefers doing a back massage. Okay, ma'am, so do you want a back massage po? No. Okay, thank you so much, ma'am. And now... Help the patient to put a new gown and check the devices attached to the patient. Okay, so I will be getting the patient's gown. Okay, ma'am. So now I have here the patient's gown. I will help the my patient rather to put a new gown. Okay, ma'am. I will be putting your gown. We'll be getting the bath 
blanca. And put it on the laundry bag. Now, comb the patient's hair properly. Now I'm going to comb your hair off. Okay, so I'm done now combing the hair of my client. Now I'm also giving a moisturizer for my patient. Okay, ma'am, so I will put moisturizer on it. Okay, now let's change the pillow of the patient for cleanliness. Now that we are done, perform a hand hygiene and assess the patient after the procedure. And after that, perform a documentation and report for any pertinent observation like the type of bath given, Skin assessments such as excoriation, erythema, exudates, rashes, drainage, or other skin problems, and also skin intervention related to skin integrity, ability of the client to assess or participate with bathing, client's response to bathing, also document the need for reassessment of vital sign if appropriate, and next is the educational needs regarding to the hygiene. And for the last one, information or teaching shared with the clients or their family. And that is all for my complete bed bath demonstration. Thank you so much, Mom, for cooperating and have a great day ahead. Thank you for watching and God bless us always.